Here's a story about three women you might recognize. So watch closely. The first woman is named Comfort. Comfort gets asked by a co-worker to go out to a happy hour, but she decides against it. She doesn't really know anyone that well, and there's a good chance that it would just be awkward. Instead, she goes to the gym. She doesn't take a class. She just puts in her headphones and works out alone. When Comfort does make eye contact with that attractive guy, she quickly looks back to her phone. In fact, her phone is a place she spends a lot of time and attention because it's comfortable. Then there's the second woman. We'll call her Nice. Nice has plans for the night with this guy she's been seeing, but she hasn't heard from him today. And when she texts him on her lunch break to confirm, it turns out tomorrow would be better for him. And it'll be a bit late, so maybe they'll skip dinner and just watch a movie at his place. This isn't the date Nice had in mind, but she doesn't want to be difficult and she does want to see him. So she texts back. Okay, no worries. Sounds good. Because, well, she's nice. And finally, there's the third woman. Perfection. Perfection wakes up early, puts her makeup on just right, shows up to a job she's worked hard to get, and over delivers for the people around her. But despite her image of being confident and put together, something is wrong. There are moments she feels like an imposter in her own life. Like at any moment, someone is going to burst through the door and tell her, what are you doing? You don't belong here. Which of these three women do you recognize in yourself? If your answer is all of them, that's perfectly normal. Why? Well, what if I told you that these three women weren't different women at all? What if I told you that comfort, nice, and perfection were all in fact the same woman on the same day? Perfection wakes up in the morning and despite her achievements, cannot shake her deep-seated insecurities. So though she's tough on the surface, when she meets a guy she likes, she reverts to being an adolescent teenager, desperate to be liked and terrified of being alone. So, she slips into tolerating last-minute dates, casual hookups, and scraps of his time and attention. And just like that, perfection morphs into nice. Nice sacrifices her needs to please someone else. She convinces herself if she could just try hard enough, it'll work out. And she wants so badly for it to work out, because nice doesn't want to have to get out there and risk finding a new guy. And so, in the blink of an eye, Nice becomes comfort, attaching herself to the familiar whilst fleeing from the unknown. She avoids talking to that new guy because it's more convenient to hang her hopes on the guy who might come around. And in her moments of discomfort and pain, she escapes to her default distractions. And so it goes. Comfort goes to sleep. Perfection wakes up, ready to repeat the cycle. Now, in order to break this cycle, we need to let go of these three friends, nice comfort and perfection, and finally wake up potential. Now, potential may be a friend that's been asleep for a very long time, but there is something that will wake her up. Core confidence. Because core confidence is the thing that makes potential feel safe. Safe to go out and live at the highest level, to love at the deepest level, and safe to take risks that the other three characters never would. You see, core confidence is the thing that lets potential know that no matter what happens in life, she will be okay. Now, if you know that it's time for you to develop core confidence, because deep down, you know you've been playing it too safe. You've been spending too much time worrying about what other people think, allowing people to trample over your standards and living in a place of fear. I have something for you today. I did an exclusive live training on the secrets of confidence broken down in a way that I guarantee you have never seen before. I still get emails from people who were in the room for that training on how it impacted their life. 
Now this video footage has never been released before, but I am releasing it to you today for free. All you need to do to access this free training is go to getcoreconfidence.com. And let me tell you, if you related to any one of the three women I talked about in this video, you need to watch this training because it will get you to understand confidence on a level that 99% of people never will. So come join me now and I will see you there.